everybody welcome back to my channel for those who are new to my channel i am key this is keys playing life okay y'all we are finna do a budget a paycheck breakdown because this is the second paycheck of the month of november but we're going to also close out november's budget because all the paychecks have come in all the bills have been paid so we're good to close it out so we're just going to do a recap of um things that needed to be taken care of for the month of november so as y'all can see november's budget a quick peek we had total income for the month was four thousand one hundred and twenty nine dollars the expected income was zero extra expected income was zero the total bills expenses were three thousand and five dollars um bills bills and expenses the rent was 978 just energy we had a credit Xfinity Mobile, instead of 267, it was actually 290. Um, Xfinity Internet was 71. Center Point was 48. Kavana, a Canva. <laughs> I can't pronounce it. I think it's Canva though. Don't call me on it, but I think it's Canva. Canva was 14. Car Insurance was 267. Capital One was 25. Capital One Silver was 25. Capital One Savoy was 25. Mission Lane. Um, was twenty five. YouTube was seven dollars. Um, Google Photo Storage that was twenty nine dollars, but that was a one time. I don't have to pay that. I don't have to pay again on Google. Um, my Google storage. My Google storage for for the rest of the year. It's good till November of twenty twenty four. Actually, um, household supplies fifty dollars. Furniture. Y'all know we paid them $4.24. We only owe them a balance of $3.98 that I will be paying in December. The vacation, we're putting $70 towards that. After pay, pay them $704. Uh, for the savings, the savings goal was to save to save $600. And I really think we um we went over that. Um, or we were right in the middle. No, we actually, to tell you the truth, we actually went over. And I'm going to explain to you why. So, our second bi-weekly paycheck for November, the paychecks, the money that was coming in all together for the second week was $1,641. The expenses were $1,102. The plan was to save $400. The leftover was $0. So, for this second pay second paycheck of the month we had the cell phone bill which was 290 after pay i paid 420 gas bill 46 dollars i gave myself 120 the rainy day fund i put 210 in the personal savings i put 140 in household 28 christmas 25 joint savings 25 our cable bill was $71 and our vacay like I said was $70 so all together in our emergency fund we put we saved $500 this month in my personal savings we saved $440 um, in my joint we saved $50 because you guys know I'm trying to build my emergency fund because I want to at least have $1,500 to $2,000 in that. And then once I get that amount in there and I'm happy with that, then I can start working on the other accounts. But right now, that's my priority. Um, so I, I think all together this month, we saved... We saved $600, but I needed to take $100 out because I paid, I paid a bill. Or no, I think I loaned my son some money. I think that's what happened. I think I loaned my son some money. And we ended up taking that $100 out. But for the most part, we did say $600. But right now, because we took that $100 out, it's $500 in there. But we will not be touching that account again. Because my goal is to continue to build that account up. Build that account up. So I want to give I want to give you guys all the numbers. Credit card breakdown. The credit card breakdown is Capital One. We now have a balance of one hundred and forty-two. Capital One Silver. We now have a balance of, balance of one hundred and thirty. 
Capital One Savoy, we now have a balance of 247 and Mission Lane, we now have a balance of 502. Now, what I think I'm going to start doing is I'm going to give you the previous month numbers and then the current month numbers just to show you where I am. As you guys know, since those cards are low numbers, I am paying the minimum on them. Um, Hubby's goal, he says he wants to pay two of those credit cards off really soon. So that is what we might be doing that is what we might be doing okay so let's see what else i want to share with you guys oh the ones and fives challenge so for november i only saved four no fifteen dollars and 25 cents yeah, I only saved fifteen dollars and twenty five cents for the month of November, um, just because I really didn't have any change left over after my rainy day thing. Like, cause I made, I took my money. I think I had budgeted one fifty for myself. I took that and spent it on exactly what I wanted to spend it on. So that was the change, the ones and the fives from that. So that was. It wasn't that much saved from the ones and fives challenge this time. Um, so the November budget closeout all together. The joint, like I said, the joint fund we spent, we saved fifty. The rainy day fund we saved three ten. The Christmas fund we saved twenty five. The personal savings we saved one forty for the month. Um, rollover money was nothing. The debt paid off for this month was $1,078. So I am really happy about that. I'm going to continue to try to put dents and make strides in that because I want to have all credit cards paid off as soon as possible. Let's see. Is there anything else I need to share with you guys? That is pretty much it, y'all. Um, I think next month, this is one of the other things I've uh, decided to let go. I let go of Afterpay. I let go of Afterpay because although, yeah, they give you the monthly installments to do what you want to do, I feel like because you know you can make those monthly installments, you're going to continue to purchase stuff, purchase stuff, purchase stuff. So I decided to let that go, and it's just basically kind of like if you don't save up for it and you don't have the money for it, then you're not going to get it, period. So I just feel like good old fashioned saving money for what you want system is better for me. So I did let Afterpay go. Um, like I said, I'm more into right now, um, say building up my rainy day and building up my personal just because I'm trying to get a cash car um, probably in March of 2024. I'm looking to get and purchase a cash car. So I'm trying to build my personal up and take care of the rainy day. Um, Yeah. Oh, and for the time being, she will be doing her own nails at home. So I got all my little nail stuff. I'm actually going to be doing my nails this weekend to cut down costs. I'm just trying to cut down costs as much as possible. It's hard out here, y'all. I think our hardest thing this week was eating out. And that's just because our schedules changed this um this week. He didn't get out till um like between 8 30, 9 o'clock. And as you guys know, we carpool in and out of work together. I do not go home without my husband. <laughs> I do not go home without my husband. So we carpool together. So he got off at 8 30. I got off at 5. So by the time we got home. Sometimes it was 9 o'clock, 9.30. Nobody's cooking around that time. So we decided to eat out. So that's what we did. Um, and I think we only ate out maybe three times this week. So that was pretty good. Because I know two of them times, by the time I made it home, I couldn't do nothing but go to sleep. I was asleep. I was in my bed knocked out, to tell you the truth. So I didn't eat anything. I just wanted to go to sleep. But um, even at work, I will say I didn't spend a lot of money eating out at work just because my coworkers bought me lunch. So they saved me tons of money. It's good to have great coworkers. I'm spoiled riding too. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, that was pretty much it, guys. Well, we are. The goal for December is um, 
to do better than I did in November. Um, to really, really dive into saving, saving, saving because this emergency fund has become really important to me. The other savings accounts are important, but they're not imp as important as building our rainy day fund. And I have to get that together. That is top priority. The rainy day is top priority. Then it's my personal savings for my car. And then those other accounts come into play. But right now, nothing comes before the rainy day fund. So, I am going to get out of here. Um, I hope this... I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I try not to make this video long and drawn out. I try to give y'all the numbers. Get in, get out. Because I do not want to have a long, prolonged video. I feel like we can run these numbers down, see what we did, see what needs to be corrected, see what we did good in, and keep it moving for the next time. So I try not to drag this video out because I just feel like talking about a budget and talking about finances shouldn't take that long. <laughs> it shouldn't take that long, especially your paycheck. Like you run the numbers down, you get it, you, you talk about it, you move on. So I am finna get out of here. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Um, if you have any suggestions, please put them down below. Um, I'm still doing a fives and ones challenge. I have incorporated, that's where that extra money came in on a rainy day fund and a personal because I have incorporated a $5 a day challenge as well as a $15 a day challenge. And because I get about pay bi-weekly i do it bi-weekly so whatever it is every two weeks that's additional to what I, has already been taken out my paycheck and been put in my savings i put that additional money in the savings as well so that's why those numbers were looking good this month and hopefully we can keep it keep the momentum going for december so i will see you guys in december we will go over the first paycheck of the month and do a budget breakdown on that as well. So until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Remember to think smart, spend smarter, and have fun planning it all out. And talk to you later. Bye.